What is up people? Skywalker Hendricks here back with another video for you guys today. And today I do want to do like a discussion video about soft goods and sculpted plastic and kind of just compare the two um, and give points on why one is better, maybe why one is not as good and I think kind of get to a middle ground because in my collection I do have a lot of both. Uh, I would kind of say I prefer sculpted plastic most of the time, um, but I think soft goods has their place in a collection and yeah, just kind of want to go over some of the examples I have. So obviously, first off, you can see right here, the Emperor on Throne. Uh, this is, of course, the SH Figure Arts version. Um, which also does come with a second Emperor fig, but he only comes with one hood, so, you know, SH Figure Arts, uh, kind of dropped the ball on that one, in my opinion. Um, great set, you know, of course, amazing, two different, two basically whole figures. This guy's obviously sculpted to sit down, though. Um, but yeah, just a, an amazing set, and w you know, I had the Black Series one before this. I obviously have sold that by now, that's why I don't have it here for a comparison. Um, I might throw in some images here, um, just to show you guys, but the, the Black Series Emperor, in my opinion, is just lacking. Um, it's too small of a scale t for those robes. Uh, especially without wire. That's one thing when I talk about uh, soft goods here, a lot of them that I have are wired and, you know, from third party sellers. And, you know, I just think having a wire and having that shape at this scale, because, you know, stuff does not lay correctly. Here, I'll bring this example in. This is Endor Leia, of course, and, you know, you'd more want her to have it laying down like a real poncho would, and you could add some uh, sticky tack here to do that, you know, whatever you want. Uh, I am a very big, uh, you know, I mess with my figures to improve them, add things, um, customize them if I feel the need to. Um, but yeah, I think uh, soft goods can sometimes look really not good in this scale. And a really great example of that um, is Farm Boy Luke and the Black Series one. Of course, I don't think I have it anymore. Um, but I upgraded it with the uh, SH Figure Arts. And this is this figure was around, I think, 60 to 70. And it just looks leagues better. Um, you can, this is from the Black Series one, uh, the Land Speeder, and yeah, just amazing, amazing figure. This figure's like, you know, seven, eight years old probably at this point, and I just think in this instance here, sculpted plastic all the way, and some more examples of that, of course, are like Bib Fortuna here. I think they could have totally went with soft goods, but he's he stands. He isn't we're not going to put him in any action pose or anything like that. So I think the sculpted plastic is perfect. I think it looks beautiful. We get all that detail and just the flow of it just looks way nicer in my opinion along with the emperor here you know he just sits you don't need him really in a lot of action poses or you know even like this um this version of the emperor just stands there and he does come with his force lightning but he's still just standing there when he's uh doing his force lightning so yeah i don't know i just i think um Sculpted plastic definitely can benefit. I mean, if you look on here, his robes are sculpted to fit in this chair perfectly. And I think his hood lays a little better. 
Um, I think it could be better, obviously. Um, and at a different angle, it looks a lot better. Especially than the Black Series, in my opinion. Um, I just think the soft goods at this scale can be very, very tricky. Especially when it comes to hoods. Um, unfortunately, I've kind of phased a lot of those type of of figures out of my collection but i do have like this uh obi-wan with of course a fat clone head um but you know the hoods just never they never lay right or you can't get them to to sit right and they're they're pretty f finicky and you know in my opinion i just this one doesn't look terrible but it's still I don't know. I would I would like to replace this with a wired um, robe at some point. I do have a wired robe for my Qui Gon Jinn, um, which looks amazing. Um, but I also have these wired capes for all my Darth Vaders. Absolutely fantastic, Daredevil 19 Customs. Um, this is where Soft Goods I think excels and can upgrade a figure tenfold because th I had to get them for all of my Vaders once I got one and I think it just adds so much to the figure and it makes him look way better uh same with this Ahsoka here uh same Daredevil 19 customs and you can make it look how you want you can make it flow and or you can make it lay flat and you know the more wires the better but I just think it's amazing and the hoods lay way better because they have wires in them too so yeah just amazing work and there's a ton of people that do wired capes and such on uh, the internet and yeah I just think there's a good balance somewhere in between. Um, another example of where we get really nice sculpting is this Princess Leia, who is going to fall over, of course. This Princess Leia is absolutely beautiful. Um, of course, it's a New Hope Leia. And it just looks so much better than the Black Series, in my opinion. Um, I think if the Black Series decided to sculpt it like this i think they could pull it off just as good um but yeah i don't know like i just think this looks way better and some people kind of like crap on sh figure arts sometimes because they're expensive or something um i don't know but like in my opinion this looks so much better than the Black Series version. And, you know, nowadays I do think the Black Series does compete sometimes with SH Figure Arts. I still think Figure Arts is a lot better when they do release figures, you know. But obviously Black Series is way deeper and has way more character selection of figures and all that. But, um, and this is not a, a comparison between the two. But... I just think SH Figure Arts does a lot of sculpting, um, and they do it really well. And I think mixing those figures in with my Black Series collection just upgrades my Black Series collection. So it's like, I use SH Figure Arts as like the cherry on top, where, you know, like the Black Series Anakin... He's my favorite character, and that figure just is so bad. Same with the Black Series Episode 3 Obi-Wan. And the SH figure arts just look so much better, and so I just replace them with those, and they look so good. And, yeah, I, I just think there's a, a good in-between of sculpted plastic and soft goods. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I've kind of rambled on. I mean, I'm classic at that. Uh, you, you know what you're getting into when you click on a Skywalker Hendrix video. He's about to ramble for at least 10 minutes. And that's about where we're at. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, do you guys like soft goods? Or do you like sculpted plastic more? 
tell me if you honestly think the the black series emperor looks better than this or you know if the black series leia um looks better than this and you know if you do think that like let me know i'd like to know um i love hearing your guys opinions same with fennec shand here like you're not getting all that detail with a soft goods piece and yeah i don't know i just but like for vader here i would never want a hard plastic cape you know i want the soft goods with the wire though with the wire so I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Soft goods needs a wire. If not, I would prefer plastic. Um, so yeah, let me guy let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, shout out to you. You're a real one. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. May the force be with you.